morning, everyone. Um, we technically don't have a chair for this committee, um, but Stephanie has volunteered to lead uh, us through um, electing leadership for this committee. Can you kick us off? Sure. I call a meeting to order of the Senior Services Commission today, July, uh, July 19th, 2023. Um, we'll go around the room and say who you are, who's in attendance, and second guess. I'm Randy Meyer. John Schulke. Sue Garrett. Keith Jacks. And do you have anyone joining us online? And Natasha Tori is online. Yes. Yep, I'm here. Good morning. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll stand and face east and we'll put the leaders. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, did everyone get a chance to look at the minutes for March 15, 2023? Any changes? Any discussion? Otherwise, I will accept a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. Okay. Moving on, approval minutes for May 17, 2023. Is there a motion to approve? Take that motion. <laughs> Second. Second. All right. Do you have to take a vote to approve them too? Yes. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. All right, moving on to chair and vice chair elections. Sure, so um, Stephanie Getz has volunteered to entertain a nomination as chair and John Schulke has volunteered to entertain a nomination as vice chair. So we'd be looking for nominations. I so move. Any seconds? Yeah. I second. This is Natasha Tori. I second. Thank you. <laughs> no one's fighting. No, <laughs> no challengers. <laughs> so then, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, Chair and Vice Chair. All right. <laughs> All right, moving on, discussion of Town Social as a 2024 polling location. Sure, so um, City Clerk Meredith is here and Cheryl from the Clerk's Office. Would you like to talk a little bit about potentially using Uptown Social as a polling location? Yes, so um, in the past we've had to use the Senior Center on Water damage to the building. We are looking to improve rocks and maps to make a good around. What we are looking at is moving one ward um, per congregation, per moving one ward from um, Tony Park and moving one ward from um, Easy Street. So we are Hoping to rework shop council, but we have an amazing space here. It is beautiful, it is ADA accessible. Um, everything that we would want. Our state election commission wants us, if possible, to use city buildings, and so that is one of the moving factors as well because we would be moving one church from our polling location and putting it here. And the reason why is because. And the city has, if there's snow issues, if there's anything with the building, the city has access to that during the day of the polling location. Mm -hmm. So, what we look at, and we took discuss this with Emily when we had a tour, um, what we would need as a polling location is to be able to set up in the afternoon of Monday. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> we would need to set up on Monday before an election in the afternoon. Then the election would take up all of the Tuesdays, and we would remove our 
equipment on Wednesday morning. So it's really a day and a half that we would need the space. Um, if we do move three wards here, it, it's about 3,500 registered voters. What? Yes. But you have the space for it. And um, that's when. How much of the space do you need? Um, as we are looking at the space, it just depends on what space you have. We would probably look at needing to close the, just the parking and everything else on mm -hmm. Tuesdays. Yeah, so what we talked about, um, I believe, were there four, potentially four polling days in 2024? There are four scheduled and in 2024. So even years, there's four. Uh, years, there's two elections. And so um, the first being a spring primary in February, which might, it really only depends on if there are multiple challengers for city council positions, correct? Correct. So February is... Most likely there is usually an election, but it's usually a very small one. Um, what we've seen is state Supreme Court is usually on the ballot, which draws about 10%. So if you have 3,500 registered voters, it would be open for 350. Yeah, so what we talked about for the February election is because it's entirely possible that the gym construction will not be completed then. But seeing as it's a smaller election, we actually thought we could do it either in this room or the activity room, both if we feel like we need them. But in talking, of, and then and then for April as a bigger election and moving forward, doing them in the gymnasium. Um, but yeah, given given the competition over parking now already, we do think that it would make sense to close regular programming and attendance on polling days just because we wouldn't want voters to feel disenfranchised with a full parking lot. So I guess yeah. any questions? I didn't put on the, uh, the agenda doesn't have for a vote. This was just discussion today. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure that the commission needs to vote on approving this or we're not quite as beholden to the rules like the library is, for example, about shutting down. Um, but just wanted to bring it up for discussion here. Should we just take it as a vote and say how still we feel and say yes or no? <laughs> Can we? I, I'm looking again. This you as the holder of the rules. Do we the vote needs yeah. to go to the council. I mean, right. it will be presented to the Commons Council. Mm -hmm. It certainly is just a communication being sent to the commission to send to the well, right. Could the commission just make a recommendation of the council? How we want to do it. And Probably. Exactly. And I guess, I mean, our goal here today is to answer any questions you might have, any concerns, anything that, you know, you would like, uh, you, know, you know, this is a good, a great thing. This is maybe we don't think, and then we can maybe make the dogs go further, and hopefully we'll be able to do it. Do we get any income from this, or is it just a money saver for the, for the city? The city pays um, polling locations that aren't city buildings. <laughs> So but it's saving money. money. So that's it. Okay. And it's $50 a word. So oh, it's wow. not. It's not. Oh, my gosh. So three points would be, you know. Oh, so it's not a lot. Yeah. 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 in the center, the center was already uh, was already closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it gave me an opportunity to for two of us, Candace also and one other person I can't remember, we went in and we we grabbed a whole bunch of the plants and took them and the rescued them. Yeah, that was the last opportunity to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I babysat for the two <laughs> yeah, okay, so which which church are you we just um, started partnering with them. Um, but they have stairs. So they were kind of temporary because of the old building? Well, 
until this building got built right. and mm -hmm. we knew where it was going, it, it could have been more permanent. Um, the stairs in it, it's in a lower level, so like there's either stairs or elevator, which is not ideal when it comes to. Okay. And there's one, oh, and one, one door it? in and out of the room that we need, which is clearly adjusted for traffic flow and things like that. Which I'm really even using this room or the activity room or the gym, all of those rooms have two, two entrances, exits, so traffic flow can be handled pretty well. I, I have a question. Oh, yeah. Um, so are is staff from Uptown Social expected to help on these days or are they able to do, you know, separate work? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. We would welcome any poll workers who would want to work here on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. oh, the staff. Yeah. Yes, the staff. Yeah. So I guess my expectation was that our staff would be, we would still have access to our administrative space and we could, we could kind of resume our, I don't want to say normal work because we wouldn't be open for normal operations, but probably more of an administrative planning type day. Um, but I do know that the hope was that with us not being open for programs that day, that the clerks might be able to recruit a few extra poll workers. Did that answer your question? Yeah, because I think this could be built, you know, like the, the art center does this thing. I'm sorry, it's loud right now where I'm at. The art center does this thing where they close down, you know, certain days of the year. Um, and, and then the staff is able to do work that they can't do when you're open. You know, and so maybe that would be something that you could bill it as a benefit if people are complaining, like, why are you closed for this? You know, and you could say, well, because we're doing this work also to make it better for everyone, you know, when we reopen the next day. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we could certainly, depending on where polling activities are going on, we could certainly use it as a day to accomplish things that we can't normally get to. Or maybe that's when we do like staff bonding and we all go mini golfing in February. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Besides, um, since opening, have you had any days where you were closed? Just for inclement weather. So our policy is typically um, if the Sheboygan Area School District closes, then we close. And really, you know, our population doesn't want to drive. But, you know, they're going to be some of the most conservative sure. folks for transportation anyway. So that's that's been it so far. And then of course major holidays. Would you consider alternative programming that would be played that would taking place somewhere else in case we do have attendees that are upset about it being closed? We could consider it um, you know, maybe for some of the days where it's nicer outside. Like we have had um Josh lead a walking group. Like we could do some sort of off-site things that if other people want to join us for like walking group, if it's nice outside. But I definitely think we'll still want to make sure we have at least one staff person in the building to like deal with any sort of situations that might arise. But that's something to consider. Thank you. Would the kitchen be open? I can we? Could we have the kitchen open? To sell like lunch. So people come and go, they can get themselves some lunch at the same time. As long as it's not in the voting area, you can't have baked potatoes or baked right. in, in the voting area. Um, the only thing that the parking tent is, but if it's right. lower, I mean, I mean it's only, right. I think the thing with that is, I mean, people wouldn't be here longer than. So, yeah. you know, if you've got, if you've got a large election where you've got several thousand people coming through, and instead of coming in and voting and leaving and you know but they're lingering here for lingering, that's an effective parking. I I think I it's good. At least for the large elections, mm -hmm. but maybe I'll come back to know. But some places have done bake sales, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So maybe we just have like coffee and bake sale up in the cafe area for folks yeah, who want it. Then do plenty. As long as that's not like breaking any rules. As long as it's not in the area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Several churches will be open for the night. Yeah. 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 Well, we've got some of the bakers. Mm -hmm. Some of the best bakers in the whole county hang out with us. I have one other question. Just 
So when these awards are put together, is this one automatic district, or is it in combination more than one? It'll be more than one. Which words did you say it would be again? Five, six, and eight. And I can track this one or somebody if you want to let me add mark the purple and black outline of the word. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't really see any drawbacks from it other than um, some attendees just being upset that they don't have the <laughs> yeah. facility to use. But. Yeah, Sue, so do you remember, were, were there any complaints at the old building from programs being canceled? I don't think so, no. Okay. And, you know, I think we can, we can communicate it as such. We also want you to engage in your civic duty by making sure you're voting. By the way, here's a link to find your polling location. For and if you're there, interested, here's how to find it here. Today, we give our population a lot of notice. This is mm -hmm. gonna happen, kind of give those states ahead mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. And we wait till the wall and all that stuff, now we're just kind of dropping on a lot of people. Okay. And right. then it opens the doors to people that haven't been in here before and do a little mm -hmm. boost membership, not mm -hmm. what you needed. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly even though. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it sounds like everyone's in support of this. We can pass that on to council. So then Meredith will work on getting that on the council agenda, correct? Okay. And you will send out when you do you want us to do anything? Do you want to No. No, we'll, we'll put it in our print newsletter and our e-newsletter. And to John's point, we can do it with lots of notice so people know what's coming. Looks like I'll be voting now. Don't even have to change my schedule. Any further discussion? All right, we will move on to Uptown Social Participation Update. Okay. Thank you. I'm still getting used to not being able to use my computer because it's recording. Um, so I shared the documents. Um, compared to where we were in the spring, our average attendance has um, dipped a little bit, which actually I think is fine. Um, for those of us who've been here every day, we can kind of feel it um, just due to it being nicer outside. It, it has been interesting, though, because the rare day that we get a really rainy or nasty day on a weekday, it is absolutely bonkers here, full of people. So we're pretty positive that it's very weather dependent. Um, but still, right now, we're over 1,300 members. Um, so it's, it seems to have slowed a little bit, but we think we'll get another uptick um, come fall when the weather starts to not be so beautiful every single day. Any way to track um, who's booking the trips, whether it's members, non-members, um, age-wise? I sure could whip up a, a like a. I think it'd be interesting to see. Okay. You can see the impact of. Uh, Right. Teaching a few people canasta. Yeah, it's growing. <laughs> they were a good group to work with and they're having fun. Any further discussion about the social participation? So when they're saying average program attendance, is that like each time it's run or mm -hmm. is that yeah, because, you know, some programs are, well, like pool, for example, is five days a week, every week. Um, but, you know, we wouldn't have 
30, 50 people every day, you know, and like, yeah. so flex and stretch is consistently the biggest fitness program. And that one, uh, again, like took a little bit of a dip now that it's nicer, mm -hmm. but in the cooler months was about 55 ish yeah. per session. Do you see any with, with the pool room then? Do you see it? Do you see any multi-use for that room? Um, we have, we want to play around with some furniture and just shake things up. Um, yeah, I mean, but that, that room does get some pretty decent action sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah. On certain mornings, all, they're all in use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the morning. So it's the afternoon to end up with the empty pool room and the hospitality room. Mm -hmm. And then often it's the, the flip side too, where the hospitality room is typically more available in the mornings and people are here playing games in the afternoon. Right. It's the afternoons that those has, the hospitality room is mm -hmm. filled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is meant by unique visitors? Sure, so that's like one time. So if Sue comes four days a week, she comes as one person under unique visitors. Okay. The volunteering doesn't look like that many, is it? I mean, it's like there's a lot of people volunteering. So how is that not? Well, I think it's about six a day is the average so that and it's it's based on who tracks stuff so i know like jane works really closely with the front desk volunteers on mm -hmm. tracking mm -hmm. their volunteer time i'm not sure um how strict like program lead volunteers are about tracking themselves as volunteers yeah because that does help you with grants and that doesn't it mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah people need reminded. i checked out all the time <laughs> Forget to check in. <laughs> right. Any other questions on this? Okay. All right. We'll move on. Um, any other discussion for a bit of the order? Next meeting, September 20th, 2023, at, again at 8 a.m. I would presume here in this room, unless something else is taking it up. All right, uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, meeting is closed. Thank you for joining us, Natasha. Yeah.